I haven't finished my first cup of butter coffee yet. <laughs> don't judge, don't judge. But it's already time to head out. I think we're going to Bellevue, which is about an hour from the studio. And then, uh, well, <laughs> it's either Bellevue or Seattle. I'm actually in the process of still figuring that out. But I'm pretty sure it's Bellevue. Uh, but first, got to go pick up Ange. Time for a car swap. Proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. It's official. Continue to follow the road. We're on our... Two miles. We're going to be there in, okay, 44 minutes. We're on our way to Bellevue, not Seattle, which I already made sure Wes knows too. So oh, Wes good. is clear. We're good there. The uh, cars have been swapped. I've got our equipment, including this monster, which should come in handy. <laughs> if you know what I mean, for recording interviews. So we're on our way and uh, we'll report back soon. We arrived, we're here, we're getting on the Wi-Fi. We are registered. Oh yeah. Now it's time to go look around and see what we can find. I saw down here there's a showcase room, so I think that's where we're gonna start. Look at this, this is great. This is, I think this is my favorite part right here. I already love it. Should we go in? I wanna look inside, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna bring an Airstream, you gotta look inside. Wow, I would not have thought I would end up in an Airstream at the Open Daylight Summit. Look this at this. Is lovely. That's where the business goes back there, but you only get a privacy screen. Yeah. There's those famous Airstream windows. That's pretty great. What do you think of the Airstream, Ange? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. LED lighting. Good size. Yeah. So that way we run on batteries. Look at this huge sign. Yeah, it's a monster. That doesn't happen in it's things like this. <laughs> this hey. is luxury. Yeah, this is fun. Extra counter. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic. Hmm. After walking the floor, we decided to hit the ground. Running, that is, and attended some of the talks to try to absorb as much information as we could, which does work up an appetite. Now the most important part of every conference, lunchtime, I don't see the name. What was it called? Lunchbox Laboratory. The Lunchbox Laboratory. We just finished up lunch, which was delicious. And now we're walking back in there to bang out some of our interviews. Wes, what are your first impressions so far, sir? Boy, uh, it's, it's complicated. There's a lot of uh, abstract terms. There's a lot of people who are like really in depth in this. Like you're like three levels deep in switching, yeah. virtualized switching yeah. networks. Uh, it's interesting. There's clearly people who are passionate, but it's very much like large scale deployments. I'm getting the impression a little bit. It's early days yeah, too. Definitely. Um, early days for some of this stuff, but going in the right direction. People are still trying to figure out how it works for them and how they make their infrastructure scale using software networking. A lot of people who are kind of mid-migration haven't, maybe haven't completely migrated yeah. to it, but are trying it out. Coming into something like this, you kind of have to walk in with a little bit of knowledge because they're kind of starting at a level or two above the beginner level, right. yep. more of the intermediary to advanced level, because some of the people that are talking are the engineers actually working on the projects they're right now. They're building the cool new stuff. Yeah, so first impressions are, it's been educational for both of Definitely. us, but I don't know if I'm getting as much out of it as I had hoped at this point, but it might just be because it's such a nascent market too. Yeah, exactly. What's Ange think? <laughs> What'd you Boss. learn about Netbury? Uh, yeah, I don't. It's got genius. It, it does have. It has a layer of genius in it. It helps <laughs> all of the things talk. Yeah. Smartly. Smartly. Genius. Like genius. The Open Daylight Summit ran like a well-oiled machine. It was great to talk to passionate people, and I loved the interviews that we did. Okay, we have reached the end of the Open Daylight Summit. It's Tuesday, we just got done doing our interviews. And I thought before we left, we should do our first thoughts, just sort of our takeaways. Um, Wes, you wanna start? Do you have a takeaway? You know, I, th I think there's a, an exciting community. It's very 
Right now it's very business led, you know, kind of what we've seen like the Linux community transition into. This is starting that way. Yeah, good um, point. Yeah. But there's a lot of excited people. It sounds like everyone is friends. There's a lot of cro cross business communication, collaboration. So yeah. some I of think the, it's some just of being the, deployed now. But. Some of the open source essentials are there. Yeah. The collaboration is there, but they're starting at a how do we make this something we can build value on top of right away. So I think something something that you know in the next two, three, five years that would probably explode. Yeah. What did you think, Ange? Kind of like the businessy stuff, the overall, the conference, the event itself. Uh, I thought it was very well put together. Great food that they offered. Uh, the decor was really great. Yeah. It was all outdoor <laughs> camping type stuff. Yeah, you'll that see, was. If you check the Instagram feed, you'll see some pictures that we posted. Of some things. money was spent. <laughs> some money, yeah, definitely. Um, and they had the trailer. That was cool. Yep, we did a couple. We sat in on a couple talks. They didn't seem as organized as they could have been, and uh, they were shorter. But uh, overall, they had at least a very tight view of whatever it was that they were talking about. And they had decent audio and video set up. Mm -hmm. Each room had somebody yes. there with a Mac that was doing a live recording of it. <laughs> Clearly yeah. professional in that way. Yeah, and, and you know, they had a pretty standardized setup. So whoever yeah. they had in there doing that really knew their stuff. Um, all of it really felt like, uh, I think one of the things that Open Daylight benefits from being such a new project is their association with the Linux exactly. Foundation because the Linux Foundation knows how to throw a party now. Mm -hmm. That's like one of their top how things. How to throw a party, how to grow yeah. a community, how yeah. to sustain it. Yeah, and even on the back end, the communication with the people running the event's been really clear and straightforward. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it is definitely something that I think would only be applicable to folks that are in this industry that are trying to solve really large networking scale issues. But at the same time, it's fascinating to see something at this stage that's moving from nascent, immature technology to something that people are really deploying now and, beginning, and, and companies like Cisco yeah. and Intel and Red Hat are beginning to build products on top of it. And you may see it in other places, IoT, et cetera. Yeah, so yeah. You might see it in terms of networking just becomes more ubiquitous and more everywhere. Right. And it could be open daylight that's behind some of that making it possible. And perhaps a little more genius. And some genius. <laughs>